Jim Strapple fans, welcome to your regular Saturday lunchtime helping of professional wrestling. The main course is not to be missed, but to warm us up, let's get ringside for the first contest. And alongside the man who saved you your regular seat, Chad Walton. Thank you, yes, and the main course is an international heavyweight bout between Pat Roach and Caswell Martin. But first, we welcome you to this Dale Martin promotion here at Waters Meet, Richmondsworth, with a catch match, and here they are. This is the opponent of Greg Valentine. Greg will be in soon. In fact, he's in already. Jimmy Ocean, that is his opponent. Jimmy Ocean from Norwich at the Goldstone Cellar. Reminds you of Adrian Street a bit, doesn't he? For the old couple fans, same hair color, same guns. So it's Greg Valentine versus Jimmy Ocean and Gordon Pryor to announce him. Thank you. This is a contest match to catch way to be wrestled over six rounds of three minutes each round when one fall, one submission, one knockout or one disqualification decides your winner. Introducing, on my right, I'm standing in the wrecked corner. It's my pleasure to present one of the most exciting wrestlers in the country today from Lincolnshire, the farmer's boy, Greg Valentine. His opponent, standing on my left and in the blue corner, the colourful and controversial ring star from Norwich. Welcome, please, the flamboyant Jimmy Ocean. And the referee in charge of this contest from Croydon, Mr. Roy Harding. We did see Jimmy Ocean from Norwich on the small screen about a year ago. It's the only second appearance. What a magnificent looking John. And what, how about that for that tall tight? Oh, father. Black, cerise, and yellow. Very sharp. And the, the tattoos, very neat. The eagle on the chest, more on the forearms, but most of them are covered by the elbow protectors. His opponent, Greg Valentine from Maybank, West Yorkshire, a farmer's boy, and Roy Harding, the referee, to look out for this one. Ocean out very quick for action and media. And I don't think he very glad he did. Six, three minutes long, one fall to the side of Valentine's got the weight advantage and, of course, the experience advantage. And Ocean's got loads of attack. Just, oh, yeah, double-handed shot. <laughs> Valentine very quick for that one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Face of the spine drop, and again. Out he goes. Jimmy Ocean not quite so keen to get back in now. I should say that uh, Valentine's almost got his measure already in the first round. He wants to slow it down a little bit now. Punch to the head. Roy Harding from Croydon, the referee. Not sure about it, but very suspicious. But that was a French fist, back elbow. And a little bit late on that drop. Side headlock again, again the punch. And Roy Harding trying to get around and make sure it was a punch. But Greg Valentine knows it. Follow, oh, that follow-up right into the stomach. <laughs> oh, 
Jenny Ocean getting to know all sides of the swing in this opening round. He's been out every side except the commentary table at the moment, but that's to come, obviously. And again, the punch to the stomach. Again, Roy Hardy not positive as Ocean swears it with straight fingers. to be quite happy. He's been thrown along all over the place, but still looks quite happy. His former amateur boxer and turned professional at one time. Second away, round two. Round two, five to go. One fall decides this contest. The first fall is the one that matters here. Ocean doesn't want to start just yet. Greg was ready for him to drag that single finger under it. And straight down, face down to the knee. That's the time, Ocean. Gonna get off the top rope all the way down. But Valentine wasn't there. Beautiful forward shot by Valentine. And the straight fingers again, Ocean says, but again, Roy Harding, not at all sure. But hasn't got any public warnings to him yet. Another posting, and a beautiful backdrop, pull it down, cross press must be it, all over. In round two, all over. With Valentine the winner by the one four required, he just took one minute, 47 seconds to get that winner in round two. In the second round, by the only four required for victory, your winner, Greg Valentine. Now let's have a look at the neat way he did this. Raced into the corner for a posting. Backdrop uh, all the way. And the cross press came with a hook leg so quickly that the fellow hadn't got time to get it. So that's the one four required and a win for Valentine as early as round two. Now after the break, that great West Indian Caswell Martin gives away four songs to the giant from Birmingham, Bomber Pat Roach. Don't miss this one.